Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to cover cross-references and program information in TIA Portal. I'm going to go in the project tree and right-click on the Program Blocks folder, and I will select Cross-References. This will bring up the cross-reference information. There are various filters that you can select. What I usually like to do is collapse the entries. Then I will pick a block that I'm interested in, like the code from previous lessons. I'm going to look at the light one tag. There was two uses of that in this particular block. You can click on a link. It will open up the ladder editor or the editor where the tag was being used. Next, I will hover over the drop down for the filters. This will allow me to bring up the help on the cross references. So I will go down in the help and look at the filter options and then pick Introduction to Filtering of the Cross-References. In this Help section here, you will be able to see a definition of all the different predefined filters that have already been created for you that you can use. You can also create your own custom filters if you'd like. So next, I will collapse all of the entries. Now I'll select the Optimized Data Block and you can see all the entries for the data block here. Now on the cross-reference, I will expand out the optimized data block and look at the start command entry. This start command was used two different times, so I can click on a link. It will take me into the logic of where that entry was being used. Next, what I will do is collapse all of the entries and I will select a different filter. This time I will pick show objects without references. So now when I collapse everything, you will see objects that do not have references included in them. So when I look at these various data blocks, there are some of the data block elements that have not been used in the actual programming. Now I will go into the project tree, expand out the PLC tags. I could do a cross-reference on all of the tags in the project, or I could select an individual tag table. So I will right-click on Demo Tags and select Cross-References. Now I will collapse all of the entries in here and you can see all of the tags here in the demo tags area. I look at the light one tag. It was used in the main program block as well as in the, the block code from previous lessons. Now I right click and pick cross reference information. This will open up the cross references for an individual element down below and more in the inspector window area. So this allows you to quickly select different tags and get the cross reference information very easily. Now I will pick Show All Objects. This will list all of the tags, even if they have not been used. Now I will select Show Unused Objects, and now it will show me only the tags that have not been used at all. So I will close out the cross-reference information here. I will scroll down in the project tree and now select Program Information. Here, you can see the load memory, work memory, and retentive memory usage of the PLC. And you can expand out the different types of objects in the PLC program. And you can see how much memory is being used in the different areas. Next, I will select the Assignment List tab. This is where you can see where your inputs, outputs, and end memory locations have been used within your PLC program. You can hover over a particular address and it will display the tag name that's being used for that address. So you have, you know, bit access, you have byte access, word access, double word access, and L word access. I'll scroll down to the outputs and select one of the outputs and here is the light 9 tag that was being used. On the right hand side you will see the bit memory location. Here's the BCD tag. It was used as a word access, so it's showing up in the word access column. Next, I will select the dependency structure. This shows you the objects and what they are dependent upon. So timestamp switch is dependent upon a data block as well as the main program. The code from the previous lessons is dependent upon the main program. Next, I will select the call structure tab. This will give you the overall program structure. I will expand out the main program block and you can see all of the block calls from main. And then you can drill into various blocks and see the calls from there as well. This concludes the lesson on cross-references and program information.